Hi everyone, this is Shaur and you are watching Money Time at Money Nine. So, let's begin today with some GST news. On Monday, the new GST rates on unbranded pre-packed food items come into effect. So, staple food items like pulses and cereals like rice, wheat, etc. have become costlier from Monday. But if you buy these items in bulk, which means weighing more than 25 kg, then GST won't be levied. The Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs has clarified that the new GST rate of 5% is only levied on items which weigh up to 25 kg and not more than this. So, next time you step into a departmental store, you can pay 5% lower tax by buying things in bulk. Well, not everything is getting expensive. Fortune Edible Oil, which you can use for cooking food, is going to become cheaper by 30 rupees per litre. Yes, you heard it right. Edible oils like mustard oil, sunflower oil, soybean oil of Fortune brand will become cheaper by up to 30 rupees per litre in the coming days. Consumers will have to pay rupees 165 per litre of Fortune soybean oil instead of 195 rupees per litre. Fortune's sunflower oil will also become cheaper by 11 rupees per litre and will now be sold at 199 rupees. If you purchase mustard oil, then you will get it at 190 rupees per litre. Price of Fortune Rice brand oil has already fallen by 15 rupees and will be sold at 210 rupees per litre. Next up, some EPFO news. EPFO may invest more in equities. Retirement fund body EPFO is likely to approve a proposal to increase its investment in equities to up to 20% of the investable deposits from the current limit of 15%. The proposal is likely to be debated during the EPFO trustees meeting to be held on July 29 and 30. At present, EPFO can invest from 5 to 15 percent of the investable deposits in equity or equity related schemes. The proposal to revise the limit to 20 percent has been vetted and approved by the Employees Provident Fund Organization's EPFO Advisory Body Finance Audit and Investment Committee, which is FAIC. Next up, some banking news. The SPI. The country's largest public sector lender has again increased the interest rates on its fixed deposits. After the interest rate hike, the Mumbai-based public sector bank will be giving interest rates in the range of 3.5 to 5.25% on fixed deposits of different tenures. The shortest tenure is of 7 days to 14 days, while the longest tenure FD is of 5 years to up to 10 years. The depositors will get the highest interest rate of 5.25% on FD of 1 year to 2 year tenure. Senior citizens will get 0.5% higher FD rates than the applicable rates. The new rates are also applicable only on those FDs which will be open for minimum 2 crore rupees and maximum 5 crore rupees. Next up, some news related to air conditioner. Air conditioner manufacturers have said that they may have to again increase AC prices if rupee keeps on weakening against dollar. Till now, in the current financial year, air conditioners in India have become costlier by 10 to 15%. Manufacturers are compelled to take price hikes despite of softening of commodity prices because continuous fall in the value of rupee. These days, not too many companies are bringing their IPOs. Not many IPOs are turning profitable either. The stock market has also been volatile in the last one year. But during this rough time, a section of IPOs is still giving many full returns to the bidders. It is the SME sector. Some of the SMEs which got listed in the current year have given returns of up to 656%. The top 5 such SMEs are Emprian Cashews, Globe Secure Technologies, Cool Caps Industries, Maruti Interior Products and Vaidya San Ayurved. These companies belong to a niche sector such as processing cashew nuts, manufacturing of bottle caps and Ayurveda based healthcare centers. Next up, some report of SPI. The State Bank of India has released a report on income of farmers in the country and according to that report, the average income of farmers in the country have increased by 30 to 40 percent in the last financial year. But the income of farmers who grow cash crops like soybean and cotton have actually doubled during this period. But it has been a tough time for those farmers who are engaged in cultivation of non-cash crops. It has also mentioned that the report that during the coronavirus period, the share of agricultural sector in the GDP has increased from 14 to 18 percent. And according to National Statistical Office, the average income of farmers was slightly above 10,000 rupees in FY19. Their income hadn't even doubled in the preceding six financial years. India's romance with SUV is intensifying ever so fast, and automakers are fueling the fear even further. They have launched 36 such models in the last five years. Such is the craze for SUV that waiting period for some of the most popular models are stretching over to two years. Fresh orders are still flowing in. Car buyers are now willing to buy top-end variants which can be loaded with features like sunroof, 
and connected technologies. Maruti Suzuki's senior executive Shashank Srivastava has said that premium hatchback dominated passenger vehicle segment over a decade. But in the previous financial year, the entry-level SUVs had taken the largest share of the pie at 21%. Now, in this era of rising preferences for SUVs, Maruti Suzuki on Monday has shown some dare and launched new version of its entry-level hatchback, Espresso. The X showroom price of the new Espresso starts at 4.24 lakh rupees. The automatic version of the hatchback will be costly by 1.4 lakh rupees. Maruti claims the new Espresso will give a mileage of up to 25.3 km per litre. The model will come with various safety features like dual airbags, high speed alert system, reverse parking sensors, etc. And we end the news with market update. Benchmark indices Sensex and Nifty spotted over 1% at close on Monday following buying in IT, oil and gas and banking shares. 30 share BSE Sensex settled above 54,500 points while broader NSE Nifty settled above 16,200 points. Meanwhile, international oil benchmark Brand Crude jumped 2.18% per cent to $103.4 per barrel. That's it for today. Hope you like this news and for more such news, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.